I think a call for inclusion for me means um, I think we're really going to have to now, more than ever, reach to our very, very, very core values, the things that motivate us to do social justice work, that have always motivated us to do social justice work, and to, um, to try to do it in smarter ways so that we do reach, I think inclusion might be to a lot of people who are just not so super active, who have not ever felt a calling to come out and um, do more maybe than vote, but become part of an active participatory democracy. And so hopefully what we can do as those already active in social justice is reach people who maybe haven't been so active and get them to be parts. Let them see that all of our communities are going to suffer under the kind of administration we are seemingly going to have with Donald Trump. So I think it's inclusion at neighborhood levels, at congregational levels, at faith levels, schools. Um, you know, I know school districts are putting out letters to parents saying, we're going to keep your children safe. Um, congregations like today are meeting here. So I guess I think it means reaching out to create community. Community and inclusion seem very similar to me. So really building on our communities of activists and actions. So I'm part of an organization called Jewish Voice for Peace. We're a national organization of Jews and allies. I'm Jewish, but not all members of Jewish Voice for Peace or JVP are Jewish. We've been around for quite a few years. Um, we're the fastest growing Jewish social justice organization in the country. Uh, Jewish Voice for Peace came into being out of a very strong belief in justice, equality, freedom, and dignity for all peoples in Israel-Palestine. So we're very, very active around the issue of Palestine justice. And that sort of distinguishes us from many other Jewish organizations. As Jewish Voice for Peace has evolved, we recognize really how connected all kinds of social justice and oppressions are. And so JVP, Jewish Voice for Peace, has become very, very active as a human rights, as a social justice group, nationally and locally, on a myriad of issues that I think right now are all coming to the front. What I see for myself is with this election, everything I believe in is on the line. So whether it's justice for Palestinians or our active participation in the Black Lives Matter uh, campaigns movement, um, our participation in migrant and immigrant justice, in combating Islamophobia, that's our call right now, I think. And, and to some extent, I think we have to prioritize. I think our, our communities of color, um, the LGBTQ community, immigrants, migrants, um, are all at the most vulnerable right now. So I think my call is we have to keep our community safe. We have to do what we can to, to be allies, to use whatever privilege we have to, uh, to stop oppression and stop the fear and, and combat the fear and, and really put ourselves to our bones on the line for the communities that are gonna be targeted, I'm afraid. Yeah, I, I'm struggling with that. Um, I will say on a personal level, I do yoga every single day, and I'm so proud that my yoga community is standing out and doing yoga benefits for Standing Rock and for Black Lives Matter, and we're talking in yoga groups, yoga classes, about how we use our practice, our spiritual practice, our yoga position, asana practice, to ground us to focus us so we can go off the mat, as we say in yoga, and do the work we do in the world. So I, I need to do that more than ever every morning. That's how I start my day. So that's my personal work. You know, I think I just am, I have a lot of passion. I'm a nurse by profession. 
I work with women with children, moms with children who are in treatment from addiction. And um, they give me so much hope, the strength that these each individual woman has to overcome the barriers of poverty and of racism that and a trauma and abuse that got them to where they're where they are in a very self-destructive position and then they're in treatment and it's really hard work and I am ever inspired by women who are successfully doing that so that's my little micro level and then I've just been a social justice activist for my whole life, I think. I was raised with parents involved in the civil rights and the anti-Vietnam movement. So I think it's in my blood, in my DNA. And I think it's Jewish tradition. I mean, I think it's all of our traditions, not just Jewish tradition. It is when we get to the roots of our core values of, of faith. It, it is love for one another and compassion and what we can do to build a community out of love and inclusion. So I guess it's the calling that calls me all the time on my personal work and then in the global social justice work. Mm -hmm.